Yat e, hello, my name is Kimen Palau. I am half Dene and half Tongan. My name is Marianne Bugs. I'm an enrolled member of the Caddo tribe, and I'm also Cheyenne Arapaho. I'm Brandy Lewis, and I'm a member of the Choctaw Nation of Oklahoma. Hi, my name is Silas Cleveland. I'm an Eastern Shoshone Native American from the Wind River Indian Reservation here in Wyoming. Today, I'm going to be answering your questions about Native Americans. Why do people call Native Americans Indians? Well, that's because Christopher Columbus was lost. If you don't know who he is, that's probably a good thing. He thought he was in India, and so he called the people that he encountered Indians. I'm not Indian. I'm not from India. So don't call me Indian, please. Thank you. Do indigenous tribes still exist? Yes, absolutely. There are plenty of tribes out there still today. However, there are many that are not. There are over 500 unique and different tribes in the United States. But did you know there are over 300 tribes that are not yet federally recognized? That is over 800 tribes on Turtle Island or what is now the continental US that are here. Each one has their own language. Each one has their own customs. I look forward to a time when everybody understands what being Native American means. What do Native Americans prefer to be called? There are a couple of answers to this. Because every Native person is going to have a different response. For myself personally, I grew up being called American Indian. I think it's an individual choice. Not everybody, not everybody who's Native American has the same answer. I prefer Native American. I have dear friends that they don't like being called Indian. Indian to me, you're probably from India. I like to be referred to as being Choctaw. That's what I am. I'm a member of the Choctaw Nation and I'm a Choctaw woman. There's so many terms, Aboriginal, First Nations, Native American, Native, Indigenous. It's a preference. I know that I personally like to be called Indigenous. I think it's the best term to describe me and my ancestors as the original people of this land. What do Native Americans believe in? Well, if I was joking, I would say fry bread. But um, I think that you're referring to like a spiritual, a spiritual beliefs. And that's that's going to vary tribe to tribe, individual to individual. In general, we believe that we are responsible for this land, that we were placed in this country to take care of it. I personally have feel a deep connection to. Um, this land and all the creatures and um, things that are on it. Because of colonization, forced conversion on my people, we were not allowed to practice our way of life. We were not allowed to speak our language. It was deemed evil, savage, not of God. And if we were to do so, we were either beaten, whipped, or killed. So my people had to conform. We had to adapt in order to survive, which is sad. And over time, that religion was instilled. You have natives that are Catholic, you have natives that are Christian, and you have natives that are neither, that are reconnecting, trying to backtrack and learn about our way of life, about our beliefs before they were taken from us is Native American and ethnicity. Yes, I would say so. Although we speak different languages and we're not all the same, we have that shared appreciation and thankfulness for everything that surrounds us. I believe that it is an ethnicity. I believe that it is a culture. Native Americans have a rich and vibrant and wonderful culture, no matter what tribe they are. Do Native Americans celebrate Thanksgiving? And I think that's, you know, a preference that Native people can make for themselves. I celebrate Thanksgiving because that's how I was raised. I think it's a time in general just to be thankful about the life that we have here. But there are many Native Americans who do not celebrate it. I like the idea of Thanksgiving. I'm all for being thankful, giving back, and being with friends and family. However, that is romanticized. Thanksgiving is much, much more than that. It is a deep-rooted pain and hurt and story of colonization, massacre, lies. So for me and my family, it is a day of mourning. My family, we, we don't always do the typical 
quintessential Thanksgiving dinner. I actually try to do some traditional dishes and incorporate those in our meals and use it as a time for education. So to me, it's still a gathering with family. Definitely not forgetting, keeping the ancestors in mind, always thinking about that, thinking about what they had to go through. What is a reservation? It's kind of a sad word, really, when I think about reservation. A reservation is an area that Native Americans were technically given, which, I mean, they were our lands to begin with. The government, the United States, were greedy and lustful for oil, property, and gold. And we were in the way. So they forced us to relocate onto tiny patches of land so far from what was home for us, hoping that we would slowly die off. Today, there are many reservations where there is no running water, where the population is almost entirely in poverty, and where sickness and other things exist that cause harm to our people. The reservation system in America is a tragedy, actually. While there is a rich culture and people, it is a stark reminder of how this country has mistreated the Native American population. I hope that we continue to make strides in improving the reservation system. And I invite everybody to look up or Google Native American reservations near me and visit one or find out more about one. Well, I really enjoyed these questions. I'm happy that people are still Googling us. People are still curious. I think I would say uh, to non-Native people, spend more time asking questions and listening. I welcome each and every opportunity that comes along to speak about my people because I'm very proud of who I am and what my people represent. I hope you learned something new today. I hope I answered some of your questions. I'd like to give a shout out to the Wind River Indian Reservation, to the Eastern Shoshone, my tribe, and the Northern Arapaho who are here too. Uh, I love you all and have a blessed day.